I've been using iOS 18 for three months, here's my favorite new features. What I like and what I don't about Apple's latest update since Apple wrapped up its WWDC 2024 keynote in early June, I've had iOS 18 on the brain. Apple previews its annual iPhone software update every year at its developer conference, before rolling out a beta featuring those changes and enhancements. It's usually my job to dive deep into that beta, so I can fill the void with profiles, how TOS and assessments of all the changes heading to everyone's iPhones in the fall, and that's what happened this year with iOS 18. Right after the keynote ended, I installed the iOS 18 developer beta on one iPhone to get an early look at the features Apple previewed during WWDC. By mid-July, I was putting the public beta through its paces. By the time Apple was ready to release a full version of iOS 18 that happened this past Monday, September 16th, I had some form of the operating system update running on four different devices, including the latest beta on the iPhone 12 I use as my everyday phone. What I'm trying to say here is that I'm pretty familiar with the ins and outs of this update. You can get my thoughts on the new iPhone software and my iOS 18 review, but if you can't block out the time you need to make it through that tome, no, Tom's guide does not pay me by the word. I prepared this quickish summary of what I like about iOS 18 and what I think needs some fine-tuning via the updates Apple will inevitably make to its software. So if you're ready to download and install iOS 18 and wondering which of the new iPhone features to try out first, here's an overview of my main takeaways from spending the last three months in iOS 18. Company, thanks for watching for more updates. Please subscribe our channel SBBC News.